It's not just the front runners who are getting attention tonight. Yep, the back of the pack is also closely watched. The Red Lantern team is currently Jan Steves. The last place I did a rod finisher gets the Red Lantern. Uh, Steves pulled into the halfway checkpoint in Huslia at 735 this evening. Now this is the first year mushers have traveled to Huslia. It's a small village with a rich mushing history that includes being home to the Huslia hustler, George Atla. He died last month at the age of 81. Photojournalist Nick Swan visited Atla's dog yard where neighbors say his spirit is still very much alive. Right now we're in George's yard. That's his house to the right of us. Behind us is his dog lot. I'm used to say I'd like to start just teaching kids how to run dogs. I'm used to just sit there and drink coffee and think about it. And then thank God for Kathy, his other half, because between them two, they made it happen. Mm, I find myself coming here. When I come home from Fairbanks, I'm used to coming right to his house sometimes. George used to travel. He used to call me up sometimes and tell me, can you take care of my dogs? I used to go, heck yeah. Lo and behold, I come to run the dogs. Kathy starts hooking up 16 dogs for me. <laughs> we went up to the starting line with 16 dogs for a New Year's race. And they ran them. <laughs> It was the best run I ever had. Here he kept his main team. He had a couple of good leaders he liked. Happy. Happy was a good dog. He built all of his own dog houses. So I'm in my 40s and he's in his 70s. In fact, his uh, Catherine Atla used to say, hey George, you're not a teenager anymore because we used to always go out and do stuff. He used to always say people in the city don't understand when you go out and cut wood how it could be fun. But, that's, we did a lot of cutting wood out there. It's just when we were out there just being free. In fact, um, I spent a lot of time in the wood yard lately. <laughs> just thinking about George and everything. How good it was. To me, he's still alive in my heart. Um, when I go out, that's why I spend a lot of time in the wood yard. He's, he's alive. He's, his spirit's going strong within. I always told him he was the father I never had. The funny thing is, not many of us knew he was a legend here. <laughs> well, I, I, it didn't seem like that. He's just like a good neighbor. Things change. My buddy's not here anymore. Atlas presence is on the trail in other ways as well. Hugh Neff is carrying a program from Atlas Memorial in his sled all the way to Nome.